Hey guys, what is going on? So I got kind of a different kind of video today. So if you remember a while back, I did a video that was called uh, Five Underrated Hardcore Bands. You should check out. So this is going to be like a volume two, except I'm going to change the title to um, Five Underrated Punk Bands because not all of the bands on this can pass for straight hardcore. Uh, so yeah. Alright, so the first band on this list is the band Filth. Um, they're a crust punk band and they're absolutely amazing. Pretty underrated. I don't know how big they are in the crust punk scene. Um, obviously they're broken up, um, I'm pretty sure by now, but, um, they're like, they're very different for a crust punk band, like, their vocals don't sound like, they're trying to sound like Cal Morris from Discharge or something, their vocals are more, like, really screechy, and very pissed off and kind of nihilistic sounding, and just awesome, you know, really filthy, their name suits them very well, so yeah, um, I'll put links to all these bands in the description, check out their EP, Live the Chaos, I'll probably put a link to it. They also did a split called The Shit Split with this other band, I forgot who they were called. Um, but yeah, definitely check out Filth if you want some really good, nasty, pissed off cr uh, crust punk. Alright, so the second band is also kind of a crusty punk kind of band, so uh, this is Dystopia. So they can also pass for a metal band because they're a mix of crust punk and sludge metal, which is kind of an odd combo, but it works very well. So uh, basically, like... Their vocals are, they have like, I believe that all three members of the band do vocals. So like, the main, the main guy who sings the most, he does like, um, these really snotty punk sounding vocals. You know, like very typical punk vocals, really, you know, just really pissed off and snotty. And then another member of the band, I don't know which, who's who that does which, but another member does like, slightly deeper but still similar style of vocals. And then I, I'm pretty sure it's their drummer, because you hear these the least do like straight up guttural vocals, like very metal style. Um, they also have a little bit of grindcore in them, but not really. But anyways, yeah, they're a very depressing band too. Um, their lyrics are very pessimistic and very depressing and cover a lot of dark topics like suicide and depression and stuff. And yeah, if you think, if you want to have like a happy day, don't listen to Dystopia, but definitely check out this band. They're so good. Um, they make Black Flag sound like, like, the happiest band in the world, like, seriously, Dystopia are a very dark band, and they're so fucking good, I, definitely check out, I'll put a link to their album, Human Equals Garbage, it's so good, um, just so many great songs, like, Stress Builds Characters, Sand CDs, I'm sure that's how you pronounce it, or, um, what else do they have, fuck, um, Hands That Mold, um, Hands That Mold, I believe is another good song, but yeah, they're such a good fucking band, very, very dark and disturbing band, but very good. The third band on here is much, much wider, although the lyrics maybe not so much. Uh, Choking Victim. So this is probably the most well-known band on this list. Um, actually, no, this and Dystopia, this band and Dystopia are probably the most well-known bands on this list, but Choking Victim, they're very good. They're kind of like no effects, um, except they have um, more like an anarcho, um, rather than like a mix of uh, ska punk and skate punk. They're more of a mix of ska punk and anarcho punk, which sounds like a weird combo, but it works very well. They have amazing vocals that sound like perfect for punk, in my opinion. They're a very good band to listen to in like the summer, I guess, because um, they remind me a lot of No Effects. Except rather than being like, um, like if No Effects are like a really drunk punk band, I'd say that a Choking Victim are a very high punk band. It's funny they make a lot of weird drug references, and what's funny is that they use they're kind of infamous for using like satanic imagery in their, in their album covers and stuff. When really they're just trying to be a dude and that's to be offensive. They're not actually satanic. They're like, um, they're actually an atheist band. And they only released one album, which is No Gods, No Managers. I'll put a link to that in the description. Um, even one of their most popular songs, uh, 500 Channels, even has kind of like a pop punky or skate punky kind of vibe to it. I'm not saying that they're pop punk at all, because they don't sound anything like, you know, like, I don't know, like, just shitty, like, mainstream pop punk. But they're not nowhere near that, but they kind of have, like, a very melodic edge to them. And their lyrics are very nihilistic with, like, I, yesterday I covered their song, Fuck Reality, which is my favorite song from them. But, yeah, they have a lot of good songs for, like, Suicide, A Better Way is another song from them that's very good. But, yeah, check out Choking Victim. They're really good. And although, like, their song titles and shit sound very dark, honestly, their music is very white-sounding. Um, and just really fun. Uh, really fun band to listen to. Um, they also have a lot of heavy ska influences in their music that are you're very obvious uh, so yeah choking victim check them out definitely if you're into like no effects um that kind of stuff so yeah all right the fourth band on here is kind of like a skate punk or uh, i guess you could call them a nardcore band um aggression so yeah check out their album don't be mistaken i'll put a link to that and it's really fucking good i really want to cover their song insomnia it's so catchy um they have these really weird sounding vocals that kind of sound like traditional punk vocals that sound like 
like you know like British punk vocals like you know like bands like the Buzzcocks or whatever or like the Sex Pistols maybe or like the Clash you know like that those kind of vocals like really weird flamboyant sounding vocals but yeah and then their lyrics um not their lyrics their uh guitar riffs are just really really catchy and just really awesome so yeah uh check out Aggression on uh, their album Don't Be Mistaken so yeah like I said I'm gonna put links to all the albums that I mentioned from these bands in the description so yeah Aggression really great all right now the last band on here is really good but if you're in a hardcore they're one of those bands where it's like You've probably heard one of their songs, but you probably don't know who they are. So, um, they're famous for their song, I Was a Teenage Fuck Up, and this is the band Really Red. They only made one release, I believe, which is their self-titled album. So, they're a really good American hardcore band. Um, their, their vocals, something about them kind of reminds me of MDC. Not their vocals, but just, like, their, um, just their song structures remind me a lot of MDC for some weird reason. And their vocals are, um, kind of street punk kind of sounding, kind of like, you know, like... Uh, Cal Morris from Discharge, who I already mentioned in this video. But yeah, check out Really Red if you just want some straight American hardcore like, if you haven't heard them yet. So yeah, so five bands. Definitely check all these bands out if you haven't heard them already. So Phil for some crust punk. Dystopia for some sludge metal slash crust punk slash baby grindcore. I don't know. Um, Choking Victim for a mix of ska and anarcho and a little bit of hardcore. A little bit of skate punk. They have a little bit of everything. Um, check out Aggression for some Nardcore slash Skate Punk, and check out Really Red for some good hardcore. So yeah, really great bands, definitely check all these bands out. So yeah, uh, I hope you enjoy these bands, if you check them out. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.